Hey, Ape students, it's Mr. Smeeds, and we are officially at 24 hours to the exam. Sorry this video is going to be a little bit rushed, but there is some breaking news from the College Board that I want to make sure to cover with everybody, as well as a five-hour cram session coming up on Fiveable. It's a great website if you've never heard of it. It's only $5 for this five-hour review. A lot of students have said it's the best $5 they've ever spent, so I just want to make sure I get this video out there before that starts and so that everybody's aware of some new breaking updates about submissions. So you've probably heard recently that some students have had trouble submitting. They've gotten this kind of spinning wheel of death. Some people have called it. They can't submit their answers, even though they're clicking submit with plenty of time to go. So the College Board has come out with an update mid-testing schedule to kind of help alleviate this concern. So beginning on Monday, May 18th, luckily in time for the APES exam, now, if your answer does not submit by the time that timer runs out, you'll be prompted with a window that's telling you to actually submit your answer via email after the exam is finished. Now, you have to do this quickly. They're not going to allow you to you know, sit there and spend tons of time working on it still, but that does buy you a little a bit of extra time if you're nervous about not squeezing it in in that five-minute window. So just be aware they have built this in now. Uh, you should not get trapped out of submitting your answer and have no way to submit it. Allegedly, if that timer runs out on you, again, you'll be prompted with a specific email address to quickly email a document that has your answers in it to College Board. So that should be a huge sigh of relief. It should hopefully buy you a few extra minutes at the end of that exam so that you can actually use those last five minutes. And I just want to make sure everyone is aware of this. It was brand new. This information came out this morning, so I wanted to get the word out. And then finally, I just want to give a quick update on that five hour cram session that's coming up. So again, I've heard from a lot of students, their website has a lot of student testimonials saying that this is some of the best $5 they've ever spent. They're gonna do a two hour crash course of the entire course. This is led by APES teachers. It's also led by APES students who've passed the exam in the past. And so this is one of the best ways out there to review last minute. Uh, there will be a link in the description below to Cram Pass. Again, they're an awesome website. Really, really good review. It's done in a streaming format. It's a lot more student friendly. It's not like some of the kind of formal writing that comes out in these Princeton review books or other places that are a little bit harder to digest. It's really in a student centered format and it's just a great way to review. And then just one last reminder, there is a new video coming out at about 6 p.m. tonight that I'll have which with five must know concepts for each unit. Again, it's just kind of some last minute vocab review, as well as a resource that you can use mid exam to look up information very, very quickly. So pop back in later tonight about 6 p.m. Eastern to check out that resource. But I want to get this video up before that cram pass video stream actually starts so that you can hop on there if you want to, but also to make sure everybody's aware that you will have a little bit of extra time. You don't need to be quite so nervous about submitting. So hopefully that can give you a little bit of relief as you're heading into this exam tomorrow. Again, we're 24 hours out and you guys got this. Do some last minute review, cover your big vocab concepts, and then make sure to get a good night's sleep tonight. And tomorrow's a big day.